According to the Penelikit tribe, around 160 undocumented and unmarked burials have been discovered on the former Cooper Island Indian Industrial School site. I acknowledge that these results exacerbate the grief already felt by families, survivors, and all indigenous peoples and communities, as they validate long held truths, Trudeau said at a news conference Tuesday in Ottawa. The Penelikit tribe stated in a letter that the graves were discovered on the grounds of the former boarding schools on what is now known as Penelikit Island. From what we gather, a large number of our brothers and sisters from adjacent villages attended the Cooper Island Industrial School. Chief Joan Brown wrote in her letter. We also acknowledge, with great sadness and sorrow, that far too many did not return home. The Roman Catholic Church maintained the Cooper Island Indian Industrial School from 1890 until 1969 when the federal government took it over. In 1975, the school was shuttered, and the structure was dismantled in 1980. Trudeau stated that the federal government would collaborate with indigenous peoples to combat prejudice and structural racism. Over the last several months, about 1,000 unmarked graves have been unearthed at old residential school sites in British Columbia and Saskatchewan. Ground penetrating radar discovered 182 human remains in July near an old residential school in Cranbrook, British Columbia. A week earlier, the Cowessis First Nation, Located around 85 miles (135 kilometers) east of Regina, Saskatchewan's capital, announced that investigators discovered at least 600 mass graves at the site of a former Marieval Indian boarding school. In May, the bones of 215 children, some as young as three years old, were discovered near Kamloops, British Columbia. From the 19th century through the 1970s. Over 150,000 indigenous children were forced to attend state funded Christian schools, most of which were managed by Roman Catholic missionary communities, as part of an assimilation drive. The Canadian government confessed that physical and sexual assault were widespread in schools, with pupils being beaten for speaking their mother tongues. Two members of parliament from the New Democratic Party have called on the federal government to examine charges of crimes against humanity in residential schools.